this is the teenagers and they are going to present a skit. It's called Anna's Christmas Letter. So around this time, even small acts of kindness, like writing a letter, can make a big difference in somebody's life. So it's again remembering our Savior, you know, um, remembering all that he did for us on the cross of Calvary. Uh, so that's the whole essence of the skit. And uh, I really want to applaud the efforts of uh, not, uh, my co-teachers also, Suni Jana, Devasana, and all the children, the parents, the volunteers, everybody who has helped in uh, setting the stage and uh, making this uh, skit possible. It was a few days until Christmas. Anna was on her Christmas break and enjoying every minute of it. She walks over and looks out of the window. It's still snowing. While staring out the window, Anna's thoughts went back to the last day of school when, her, when they were dismissed for Christmas break. Her fifth grade school teacher, Mrs. Sanders, shared a very special story with the class. She put the mail on the sled and rushed home. She was so excited. 
Anna could hardly wait to find out who had written the letter and what the letter had to say. As she rushed through the front door, she shouted, Mom, I got a letter. It must be the letter that I've been waiting for. Who is it from? That's great. Let me see it. Oh no, I don't see it. It was right here and now I don't see it. Oh no, I must have, it must have fallen off my sled while I was coming home. Anna ran out the door again and headed back to the mailbox. Halfway there, she spotted the letter. It had indeed fallen off the sled and into the snow. Anna picked up the letter. It was soaked. The return address was now smeared, making it difficult for Anna to read who had sent the letter. She once again hurried home. Back inside the house, she hung up her coat. Then, very carefully, she opened the letter. All that could be seen of the message inside was you are in Anna. The melted snow had caused the ink to run together and the rest of the words were smeared and faded beyond recognition. Sadly and gently, she placed the Christmas letter on the living room table to dry. As she did this, she sang another song. So she set out to inquire which one of the three had sent her the letter. The first stop on her list was her friend Judy's house. Judy was outside putting the final touches on a snowman she had made. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Anna watched for a few more minutes as Danielle played the video game. She didn't mention anything about her Christmas mystery letter. She figured the chances of Danielle sending her a Christmas letter was slim. After all, Danielle did say that she had been playing her game day and night since school got out. So when on earth would she have found the time to write anyone a letter? Well, I hope you beat your game, Danny. Have a Merry Christmas. As Anna walked home, she was very disappointed. She had not made any headway at all in solving the Christmas letter mystery. After dinner, Anna went to bed, and she had a strange dream. Jesus appeared to her. Anna noticed the nail-pierced hands of Jesus. The message in your Christmas letter was from me, and it said, You are important to God. You are precious in my sight. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I loved you. Then, in a twinkling of an eye, Jesus disappeared, and Anna fell back to, uh, into a deep sleep. At the breakfast table the next morning, Anna excitedly told her mom about her dream and how Jesus explained to her what his Christmas mystery letter said. Mom, the letter I got was from Jesus. It said, you were important to God, Anna. It said he loves me and then he cares about me very much. Anna, you were talking to Jesus and most importantly, he was talking to you. Jesus into our hearts this Christmas. 